Hi right, guys, what's up? Uh, um, how are you guys? I am. I've been okay, but um, today I want to talk about my experiences with Caesars and um, what happened lately. Um. Uh, and I'll start from like the beginning when I had Caesars and now because I do it I'm 20 years old with epilepsy I want to uh, give you guys more information if you guys are whoever watches this um, it one, I'm hoping it helps for you guys because I know there's like a lot of people with epilepsy and I know lately, um, or not lately, but sometimes I think, oh, I'm the only one that had, ep I'm the only one that has, um, epilepsy, um, and I get depressed about that. But anyways, when I was... I think my mom says around three or three or going to turn three I had my first seizure and they didn't and they run ran me to the hospital and the doctors there said I had seizure so they I think they gave me medicine or something I don't remember this I'm just saying what my mom said got me on medicine and then later on like monitor me um i'll just do what i can remember when i got older my um, this is what i um what i remember is when my old house that i lived in i might Oh, before I get into that, I might seem a little bit nervous because I am. Because it's really hard for me to explain what goes on, but I'm doing this video because I'm thinking I might help um, one of you guys out there and to give information who don't know what epilepsy is um so you know so i'm gonna talk about my story with it and also um what to or at least my idea what to do or how to help a person if they have a seizure because i know a little bit from well me having seizures and um my my friend had seizures too so anyways um let's see when i was younger at my old house most of the time growing up from having seizures and stuff my seizures were always at night time like i'll be sleeping and then i'll have a seizure and my mom had to wake me up and help me and my my parents told me that, well, my dad um, told me that they don't really know which where in the brain would um, would like trigger it. But what would happen? I would have a seizure, and I would start to. And if it didn't stop, it would. I would have. I guess you say like warning seizures or whatever you call them um and then I would have grand grandma seizures that's ones that go on for a while shake my whole body would shake I also would like have um problems with by the I don't say the other thing because it's kind of Anyways, my body, my whole body would shake. I wouldn't know what's going on. And then I'd come out of it. I would have to miss school. And um, 
because when I come out of my Caesars, <coughs> sorry, when I come out of my Caesars, I'm really tired and and also feel like I'm gonna throw up because I remember when one time my cousin Angela was spending the night and I remember having a Caesar like coming and tell me mom I'm gonna have a Caesar then I had a Caesar and then in the morning I was thrown up and Angela was wondering what was going on my mom told her and um, it sucked because some of my family don't know I have epilepsy but they're my family so I trust them so it's okay um so yeah those are my seizures but um I had epilepsy since I was three S going to school you're gonna probably ask do you go to school or what happened yes I went to school and I just I didn't have a hard time in school because when I would have a seizure I couldn't I had to miss school a little bit but I still went to school I still was a regular kid I wasn't homeschooled um just then just also learn differently because when you have seizures sometimes you your memory you forget or my mom said my speech why I have this speech disorder is from just having dyslexia and having epilepsy because um, after you have a seizure you can not talk or something like that it affects your body your brain so it affects sometimes can affect and, and know my dogs Anyway, sometimes can affect, um, Hello, my name is Sarah, and this is my channel, Sarah's channel. So you're wondering, what does she do? Well, I do read your comments video, and I do a little bit of music like this, and I do topics like these change how people see disabled people. I also do blogs like this old blogs or I have other vlogs I done but that was like my first one when I did the channel. I did other ones like VidCon. And I done other ones like me going and showing my viewers um, who I am um, or what I do other than YouTube. So click here or we'll see on the screen right now. Anyways, I hope you subscribe and re come be part of my community. So, thanks for watching, and to my subscribers, I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Subscribe, that will help. <laughs> but, for reals, um...